Hello, my name is Seng Yeonni, CEO of Seng Inc. Today, I'd like to talk about storage class memory, reality, opportunity, and competition. Storage class memory is aiming at the wide spectrum of storage and main memory market segments with non-volatile, short access times, and low cost per bit. So many technologies are being developed in order to replace today's NAND flash and DRAM technologies and fill the gap in between DRAM and SSD. In fact, we have heard about these claims for a long time. In real, it remains just an idea for now. Our question is, will these claims be real? So let's check the reality of storage class memory. As we know, there is a big gap in between DRAM as a main memory and storage memories, such as SSD and HDD in terms of performance and cost. This graph shows performance versus cost of the traditional memory hierarchy. If there is no advantage in terms of cost and performance, then it will be in that zone. If a new memory had short access time and low cost per bit, it will be in a superior zone. If a new memory is to be as fast as DRAM and at the same time have capacity, cost, and persistence of NAND flash memory, then as PC magazine called, it will be a holy grail. There are many new memories. So I would like to categorize them into three groups. The first one is emerging memory, which includes MRAM and RAM. The second one is MVDMP, which combines NAND and predictive software. The third one is NOR-based MVDIM, which includes 3D XPoint and 3D SuperNOR. Emerging memory is trying to compete with DRAM and NAND and now fill the gap in between DRAM and NAND. For your information, recent progress, status, and challenges of emerging memories are well explained by Storage Class Industry Association, SNIA. Emerging memories have been developed as alternative solutions in case scaling of silicon memories face dead end. Now, silicon memories already face the dead end. DRAM scaling will certainly stop just under 20 nanometer feature size. Planar NAND stops at around 15 nanometer. And 3D NAND is still expensive compared to planar NAND and will stay in maze for a long time because 3D NAND are not well designed for low cost per bit. Here is the comparison chart between planar NAND and emerging memories in 2009. Will emerging memories catch up silicon memories? Unfortunately, the gap still remains the same in 2017 and will be difficult to close the gap for the next 10 years. Device scaling and cost of emerging memory are still far away from competition. According to Global Foundries, MNAM has about 45 f square to 70 f square set size. Compared to planar NAND, it is about 34 times to 53 times bigger than that. In order to overcome this set size issue, Many emerging memories, such as RAM, CMOX, and 3DX Point are adopting cross-point structure. It looks simple, reasonable, and good for low cost. However, cross-point structure is the worst nightmare for manufacturing because it is heavily depends on expensive risk rapid tools. Therefore, as Micron explained, Manufacturing cost of cross-point structure will be significantly higher than planar structure. Considering material issue, cell size issue, and manufacturing cost issue, emerging memory 
will not be easy to compete with NAND and DRAM for the next 10 years. As PC Magazine pointed out, storage class memory with emerging memory will be far away from reality. As we discussed, silicon memories face their limitation already. Then, will it be a chance for emerging memory to catch up silicon memory? What we observe in silicon memory is the dead end of Moore's law, not the limitation of silicon device scaling. As shown here, silicon nanowires works pretty well with 1 nanometer to 3 nanometer diameters. Silicon industry has grown fast based on Moore's law, which ends its lifespan already. Now, semiconductor memory should extend its lifespan using noble three-dimensional integration. 3D NAND is a good example. However, the process of 3D NAND is not well integrated, so the cost per bit of 3D NAND is still expensive than planar NAND. BCN claims its 3D Super NAND has 10 times better cost advantage compared to other 3D NAND because it is based on noble 3D integration. The rule of the game in the semiconductor industry is changing from planar to noble 3D integration. So I insist that instead of spending billions of dollars on EUV, which is expensive and inefficient, semiconductor industry should spend more time on noble 3D integration. Okay, here is configuration of MVDMP. Predictive software of MVDMP allocates data in advance between DRAM and NAND in anticipation of being needed. However, limitation of MVDMP is obvious. Even though NAND flash is physically located at DIMM along with the DRAM, traditional memory hierarchy still remains the same. The NAND still works as a storage device and DRAM works as a main memory. Because read and write of NAND is substantially slow, CPU should interact with DRAM only for fast operation. Predictive software for MVDMP may work or may not work well occasionally. If necessary data is not ready at DRAM, then the data read directly from the NAND, which is 1000 times slower than DRAM, which will significantly slow down system performance. Even though the predictive software works perfectly well. Practically, it is not possible to use NAND as a main memory because of limited endurance of MLC and TLC NAND. CPU exchange data with the main memory frequently. Simply, NAND cannot withstand such a frequent program and erase, so it is fair to say that MVDMP is just an improved SSD an alternative to storage class memory, not a st state storage class memory itself. NOR-based MVDIM is non-volatile and could work as fast as DRAM thanks to low read latency, which is about 100 nanoseconds. It does not need predictive software. Therefore, high performance could be maintained at all times. Both 3DX Point and 3D SuperNOR have high endurance thanks to single level cell. Therefore, both 3DX Point and 3D SuperNOR could work as main memory, significantly replace DRAM, and boost system performance abruptly with a large amount of main memory. As a result, NOR based MVDM could disrupt traditional memory hierarchy. If NOR-based MVDM could be cheaper than NAND-based SSD, it is expected to change the rule of the game and take a large portion of SSD and HDD market segments and DRAM market segments too. 3DX Point is a well-known page change memory and switch, which is not NAND, but nor fresh memory. A while ago, PCMS tried to replace NOR in the market However, high cost was the main issue. Now, 3DX Point enables multiple cell stacking. However, it seems not easy to bring down the cost rapidly. 
There are many technical and operational challenges associated with mass production of 3DX point. If you need more information, please check my article at EE Times, which is 3DX point, reality, opportunity, and competition. The first and second generations are two layer and four layer set stacking respectively. According to Micron, the second generation of 3DX point is, is, is expected to be five times more expensive than NAND and twice cheaper than DRAM. Therefore, 3DX point is not an affordable storage device, but could be an affordable main memory which could replace DRAM. Due to the cost issue, it seems difficult for 3DX point to disrupt memory hierarchy. 3D Super NOR is just a NOR flash memory. Unlike planar NOR, which is expensive with large cell size, 3D Super NOR is very affordable with small cell size and vertical cell stacking. Expected dollar per gigabyte of 3D Super NOR with SLC is about six cents. It shares the same cell structure with the 3D Super NAND, which is, is expected to be two cents per gigabyte. For more information about how 3D Super NOR enables low cost, please check 3D, 3D NAND flash at two cents per gigabyte at EE times. Because 3D Super NOR is significantly cheaper than SSD and DRAM, it could disrupt traditional memory hierarchy as storage class memory. 3D Super NOR prefers to use SLC instead of MLC and TLC in order to achieve low read latency and high endurance, which is essential for main memory. It has 5 billion effective read and write endurance cycle, which is similar to DRAM. 3D Super NOR is as fast as DRAM with low read latency. The same as to DRAM, NOR has capability of random access. As explained, it does not need predictive software. Therefore, high performance could be maintained at all time. Okay, here's a summary. Emerging memory have many issues such as materials, and large cell size and high manufacturing costs along with cross point structure. Considering all this, the chance for emerging memory to close the gap with silicon memory is pretty low for the next 10 years. Embedding P is not storage class memory but could be a better SSD. Performance of Embedding P cannot be maintained at all time with predictive software. NOR-based NVDM has a potential to replace both NAND and DRAM if it has better cost per bit. It is as fast as DRAM and has high endurance. Also, high performance could be maintained at all time. It has random access capability. An important matter is cost. As explained, 3DX point is unable to provide low cost per bit, so it will be compete only with DRAM. 3D Super NOR is silicon-based NOR flash memory and has ultra-low cost. It has been successfully developed, so it will provide ultimate, ultimate low cost solution for storage class memory. Now, the rule of the game in the semiconductor industry is changing from planner to noble 3D integration. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to share your comments.